Hi, my name is Tim Sheehan. I'm with Quizdom Incorporated, and I'm here today at Touchboards to talk to you about Quizdom's student response. It's a two-step answer process with the Q6, and basically what you do is you select an answer using your keys, and then just hit send. It's a very, very simple thing. Having a two-step answer process sometimes is good because it invites a little bit higher level thinking. Here's an example of a slide from our middle school life science talking about cell structure and how, how cells in, are not hollow inside but inside them are things called organelles. And these organelles carry on a variety of different functions. You have uh, organelles like the mitochondria, the lysosomes, the centrioles, and of course on the outside of your cell structure, you have your cell membrane, and in the center you have your nucleus, which some people refer to as the brain of your cell. Now we've gone through a little biology lesson class. Let's review. Cells are not hollow inside, but inside a cell are small structures called, what are they called? Well, let's see. I've turned my remotes on, and I'm going to select an answer. Okay? So on here, I'm just going to select I'm going to select A on here and I'm just going to hit send. Okay. And I'm going to select a few answers on the other ones just so we have an interesting looking graph. Now on my Q7 I can actually pull up a, a graph of results and I can look at them myself privately right here on the LCD screen. So I can actually see how my students are answering and if I'm instructing and I ask a formative assessment question, of course I can see right off the bat, are they getting it? Okay. I can also project these results to my projected screen and I can show not only what everybody has answered, okay, this invites class discussion of course, but then I can toggle to the correct answer. Whoop, none of us got the right answer. Boy, I guess I have to go over this, this point again. Now we talked about multiple choice, which this was, of course, a multiple choice question, but you can also do text answers too. Now this is, the blank is considered the brain of the cell. On the LCD screen, on the Q6, you can actually see the question. You can actually display the question on the LCD screen so the students aren't looking up at screen, looking down at the remote, and, and so on. Now to answer this, it's just like regular cell phone texting. I'm going to just text it in just by cycling through the different letters and I'm going to send that in. On the other ones I'm just going to put some gobbledygook so we have some sort of uh, answer and I'll hit that in and now we see our results on the screen and you'll see that nucleus is spelled right in, in one particular and so I got that right. Interestingly enough though you can actually include different spellings of nucleus so you accept it. And nucleus is a hard word to spell so for instance a teacher could put in different alternate spellings that they, they would accept and if this was an assessment of course that saves a lot of time in in marking the assessment. For more information on any of our Quizdom products please contact touchboards.com the great staff here and they'll be willing to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much for your time.